I don't see that you have paid your $6,000 deductible, sir. How will you be paying that today? I paid in January. You yourself paid? Yes, with a copay card. Same as last year because of high deductible. Well, I do see a copay card was used. However, many plans are no longer allowing copay cards to count towards your deductible. Not true. I got a letter from my insurance saying I could use the copay card still for my high deductible. I remember my dance moves reading it. You can use a copay card, but the notice informed you the plan was implementing what's known as the Cumulator Adjuster Program. Accumulate what? Here. Okay, so an accumulator is the tracking of an insured member's costs that they pay themselves, the deductible, your coinsurance, and or co-pays, until you meet your maximum out of pocket. Your deductible is the amount you must pay before your benefits are active. Once you meet your deductible, then you have coinsurance, which is a shared responsibility you have with the plan. For example, they pay 80%, you pay 20%. Any co-pays are amounts that you pay for office visits or medications. And once you meet your max out-of-pocket, which in your case is $6,500 for an individual or $13,000 for a family, the health plan will begin paying at 100%. Why wasn't I told last month when I received my meds? The copay card had a $12,000 annual limit. We collected $6,000 in January and another six in February. Then the health plan reset your accumulator to reflect only what you paid, which is zero. So unfortunately, we can't dispense until your deductible's been paid. Why do they care who pays? They think if members are responsible for some of the costs, they'll choose lower cost options such as generics versus name brand. But there are no generics for hemophilia. This makes it impossible to get my medicine. The organizations that support this may decide to reconsider their decision once they realize the consequences for those conditions that don't have generic alternatives. Until then, our hands are tied. We do accept credit cards, or maybe we can arrange a payment plan. Does that work? Incurring more debt is not an option. Leaving without my medicine is my only option. Hello, I'm Dr. Doe. What brought you in? I have hemophilia and have a painful bleed, so I need an infusion. Don't you have the ability to infuse at home? Normally, yes, but those responsible for my health plan design implemented an accumulator something. So now I can't afford my meds. Not the first person to mention the accumulator adjustment. Health plan benefit designers didn't consider the consequences of implementing a one-size-fits-all approach and the impact it would have on those who would utilize high-cost, life-saving therapies. Clearly. We'll get you taken care of but I recommend you discuss this with your employer or health plan provider. You can also reach out to the National Hemophilia Foundation for guidance now and help with considerations when reviewing your coverage options during the next open enrollment. The unintended consequences of the accumulator adjustment programs will be costly for both the patient and the payer.